children welcome once again to your online biology class i am asha santosh your biology teacher hope you all are reading the textbook and studying notes regularly children we are discussing our eighth chapter that is body movements do you remember what all things we have discussed in our previous classes let's memorize first of all we have discussed about different types of movable joints in our body which are the three main types of movable joints yes ball and socket joint pivotal joint and hinge joint then also we have discussed about the framework of bones what it is known as yes the skeletal system skeletal system gives shape to our body it help for our movements and it also protects the internal delicate organs such as brain heart lungs etc hope all of you have studied this much portions very well let's move to the next topic are you ready yes let me start the session with a question do all animals have bones what do you think in our previous class we have discussed about skeletal system of human beings now you all know bones and muscles help us to move so what about other animals do all animals have bones in the in their body if it is not so how they will move today we are going to discuss movements in some animals before starting today's session let me clarify that endoskeleton is present in some animals whereas exoskeleton is present in some other animals the skeleton which is present outside the body is known as exoskeleton and the skeleton which is present inside the body is known as endoskeleton you can see the examples for such animals in the picture can you identify these all animals very good the other two groups of animals are invertebrates and vertebrates invertebrates are the animals which do not have backbone vertebrates are the animals with backbones you can identify each types of animals from this picture am i correct today we will discuss the movements in earthworm snail and cockroaches these three are invertebrates because these three animals do not have backbone observe an earthworm moving on soil in a garden how do they move the body of an earthworm is made up of many rings joined end to end an earthworm does not have bones it has muscles which help to extend and shorten the body during movement the earthworm first extend the front part of the body keeping the rear portion fixed to the ground then it fixes the front end and releases the rear end it then shortens the body and pulls the rear end forward this makes it move forward by a small distance repeating such muscle expansion and contractions the earthworm can move through soil its body secretes a slimy substance to help the movement hence they cannot move on a smooth surface like glass plate so earlier we discussed that the body of earthworm is made up of many rings or segments so how does it fix parts of the body to the ground under its body it has a large number of tiny bristles bristles means hair like structures also known as setae projecting out the bristles are connected with muscles the bristles help to get a good grip on the ground children do you know 
the earthworms are also known as farmers friend because the earthworm actually eats its way through the soil its body then throws away the undigested part of the material that it eats this activity of an earthworm makes the soil more useful for plants that's why earthworms are known as farmers friend observe a snail in your garden or in field have you seen the rounded structure it carries on its back this is called the shell and it is the outer skeleton of the snail but is not made of bones the shell is a single unit and does not help in moving from place to place it has to be dragged along a thick structure and the head of the snail may come out of an opening in the shell the thick structure is its food made of strong muscle the wavy motion of the food can be seen in snail can you answer this question is the movement of a snail slow or fast as compared to an earthworm children earthworm can move faster than a snail observe a cockroach cockroaches walk and climb as well as fly in the air they have three pairs of legs these help in walking the body is covered with a hard outer skeleton this outer skeleton is made of number of plates joined together and that permits movement two pairs of wings attached to the body behind head the cockroaches have distinct muscles those near the legs move the legs for walking the body muscles move the wing when the cockroach flies children today we have discussed about the movements in earthworm snail and cockroaches which animal is known as farmer's friend yes very good hope all of you have understood the topic very well we'll see in our next class with a new topic until then take care and goodbye